What's up guys, this is Tech Breakdown and we know that the OnePlus 8 series is just launched. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you five reasons why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's get started. Welcome to the Tech Breakdown. The first reason why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro is because of that display. OnePlus 8 Pro got 120Hz refresh rate panel which is awesome. Display made has certified as A plus certificate so display is amazing. It has broken 13 world records. So the 13 world records have been broken by the OnePlus 8 Pro's display so it is going to be one of the best displays in the entire planet earth. But the main competition is actually with the OnePlus 8. OnePlus 8 is having 90Hz refresh rate panel with full HD press resolution. Now that is not super hyped up and super pumped up. But in comparison, when you see from 60 hertz to 90 hertz, you can see the smoothness. But from 90 hertz to 120 hertz, that is not much different. A slight difference, and but you wouldn't be noticing that. Another thing is this: when OnePlus 8, it is going to be 6.55 inch, so it is going to be much compact compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro, which is giant behemoth of the smartphone. So the reason number two why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro is actually the performance. Now, OnePlus 8 Pro's performance is amazing. We are having Snapdragon 865 processor, which is the highest end processor from the Snapdragon in mobile industries with 12 or 8 gigs of RAM. So it is going to be much better in normal and their smartphones. But what you shouldn't buy is actually the, in the OnePlus 8, we are having Snapdragon 865 processor, 8 and 12 gigs of RAM. The minor difference is actually we are having LPDDR4X RAM instead of LPDDR5 RAM. So there is not a major difference between OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro in performance. They are going to be identically the same, except a certain amount of RAM issues. It is not going to be much difference if you use in day-to-day -day life. LPDDR5 RAM is good, faster, but then not going to be much difference that you can buy OnePlus 8. So another reason why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro is actually that battery life. Now battery life on the OnePlus 8 Pro is we are having 4510 milliamp hours of battery, but it is going to be draining battery much faster because of that 120Hz refresh rate panel and quad HD press resolution display. So battery is going to be a bigger issue in OnePlus 8 Pro and the battery is your main concern, go for the OnePlus 8 instead of OnePlus 8 Pro because it is having 4300 milliamp hours battery that is not much difference but it is having 6.55 inch full HD press resolution display with 90Hz refresh rate panel. In 90Hz refresh rate panel you are getting much smoother experience and also full HD plus resolution that you're not going to be ma marking much difference in quad HD plus and full HD plus resolution but instead you're getting much better battery life on the OnePlus 8 instead of OnePlus 8 Pro. So battery life is your main concern, don't think of the OnePlus 8 Pro, just go for the OnePlus 8, that is a much proper deal. The reason number four why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro is because of the design. Now when you look at the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro, it is just the... Eight, is just a smaller version of 8 Pro, except one camera. That totally makes sense. The design is same on both the smartphones, and instead there is much better color in that glowy color in the OnePlus 8, which you cannot be get in the OnePlus 8 Pro. But that green color is available in both the smartphones, and both the smartphones got the best. They have just toned down the haziness in the glass. They make one of the best color. That green color is so awesome. It is also available in the OnePlus 8 Pro. So don't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro. It got the OnePlus 8 instead. The reason number five why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 8 Pro is actually the price. OnePlus is not more the budget king or flagship killer. OnePlus 8 Pro is starting at $899. It is going till $999. 12 gigs, 256 gigs version is costing you $999. That is so expensive, guys. Instead of go for the OnePlus 8, it is much better deal. You can get for $699 almost everything. Which you are getting in the OnePlus 8 series, you are getting in the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro, except for minor quirks, you are going to save $300 or even $200 if you're getting for base models on both the phones which is so awesome. You can buy OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z or another thing is you can buy something else. You're in quarantine. So instead of going for all in all OnePlus 8 Pro, look, if you're having cash in your pocket, you want to spend $1,000, just go and spend it. But instead, if you're value for money, OnePlus 8 is much better compared to OnePlus 8 Pro. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll get you guys in the very next video. Peace out.